Good morning. It's a fresh start to the day today, but for many of us, it's a day of sunny spells with a wee bit more cloud bubbling up through the afternoon. The showers in the north easing. I'll have more details in about 15 minutes. Thank you, Carol. Oh, that was quite good actually for you, Billy. Good morning. You're absolutely right, of course. It is looking a lovely day. In fact, this week is shaping up to be quite a nice week with one little blip in the horizon. Should be mainly dry with sunny spells and some patchy frost. The blip will be for some on Wednesday. So this morning it's a fresh start to the day, but there's a lot of sunshine around. The breeze lighter than yesterday, a much better day across Scotland compared to yesterday. There still are one or two showers here, it's still wintry with height, but they'll tend to become fewer and further between through the afternoon. For the afternoon across the southwest of England, we're looking at clear skies, beautiful afternoon in prospect, and then across southern counties generally, well, there will be a wee bit more cloud developing through the afternoon, but again, there still will be lengthy sunny spells. It's the same from East Anglia in through the Midlands, heading into northern England, beautiful afternoon. There's the outside chance you could catch a shower across the Pennines or borders, but you'd be very unlucky if you do. Across Scotland too, we're looking at a lot of sunshine right the way down that east coast of both Scotland and England. It will be breezier, that will peg back the temperatures. And for Northern Ireland, well, it'll be a bit more cloud developing through the afternoon, but still a lovely day ahead. For Wales too, we're looking at a lot of sunshine, particularly in the south. So the UV levels are high, high across the board today, but especially where we hang on to the clear skies across southwest Wales and also southwest England. Now, as we head on through the evening and overnight, high pressure is still anchored across us. Still a lot of settled weather around. The wind will continue to drop out. We'll see some patchy mist and fog forming. And it's going to be a cold night, colder than the one just gone, especially in rural areas. So not really surprising with temperatures close to freezing in rural areas that we will have a widespread frost. So it's going to be a cold start as opposed to a fresh one tomorrow morning. Any mist and fog will quickly disperse. Then another belter. Look at that sunshine. Again, through the day, there'll be a little bit more cloud developing. It will feel warmer, though, across Northern Ireland, North Wales, North East England, and also North East Scotland compared to today. But our top temperature will probably be in the South East around about the 16 degree mark. Then as we head into Wednesday, this is the blip I was telling you about. No blip for England or Wales, more fine weather with the temperature continuing to rise. Eastern Scotland starting off on a dry and bright note with some sunshine. But a weather front coming into the northwest will introduce rain and more cloud ahead of it. But it's bumping into that high pressure, remember, so it will be a very weak feature as it comes southwards, Billy and Lou. Oh. Thanks very much, Carol. See you a little bit later. Thank you. Um, let's catch up with the weather. Carol's got some good news for most of us, I think. Very good morning. Good morning. Yes, this week the weather is looking fairly settled, although in the northwest on Wednesday, a new weather front coming out will introduce some rain. But for most of us, it's going to be a mainly dry week with sunny spells and patchy frost. And this hold true, holds true right up until the first part of the Easter weekend. This morning is a fresh start to the day if you haven't yet ventured out. There are one or two showers across the north of Scotland. They'll become fewer and further between as we head on through the day. And for many, we're looking at some lengthy sunny spells and breezy down the east coast here that will take the edge off the temperature. Whereas in the west and the southwest this afternoon, we'll hang on to some clear skies, so high UV levels. Drifting across southern counties generally through Essex, East Anglia, into the Midlands. Again, a lot of fine weather through the afternoon. There will be a little bit more cloud developing through the afternoon, but nonetheless, it won't spoil it. And heading up into the north of England, here too, we're looking at some sunshine, just the outside chance of a shower across the Pennines. Across Scotland, for most, it's going to be a fine afternoon with some sunny spells. The showers continuing to die away. And then for Northern Ireland, you'll see a wee bit more cloud bubbling up, but still it should remain dry. And for much of Wales, sunny spells, but some clear skies across the southwest. So if you are going to be in the sun for any length of time, bear in mind the UV levels are high. Now, as we head on through the evening and overnight period, we still are being dominated by high pressure. So things remain settled. And if anything, the wind will start to drop out as the high pressure anchors itself right across us. Now, we'll see some patchy mist and fog form, nothing problematic. And the temperature is going to tumble low enough for a widespread frost. These temperatures are showing what you may get in towns and cities, in rural areas, there will be closer to freezing. So we start on that cold note tomorrow with a lot of sunshine around and light winds. It will feel warmer tomorrow across Northern Ireland, North Wales, North East England and also much of North East Scotland. Temperatures generally tend to about 16 or 17 degrees. 
Then as we move from Tuesday into Wednesday, we do have that weather front coming into the northwest. That will introduce some rain, the cloud building all the time ahead of it across Scotland and Northern Ireland. But for England and for Wales, another beautiful day in prospect with temperatures getting up to maybe 18 or 19 degrees. We could possibly see 20 degrees around the London area. As this moves south, it will move south as a weakening feature, really just a band of cloud. Then we get back into the settled weather, Billy and Lou. Carol, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.